Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert, and today I am bringing you to, well, uh, the next collaboration that we have for this week, which is going to be week three of the spring summer season. Now, this week is going to be a rather heavy hitter, I would say. Uh, obviously, in the past, Supreme did mimic uh, their design and their layout uh, for a box logo that they released in their early days, and now they've got a collaboration with them. So. Yeah, uh, let's get straight into this Burberry collab and yeah, there are a lot of items, so let's go. So, obviously, they say that Burberry is a British luxury fashion brand uh, and they go through the whole history in the end, which I won't read through because uh, I will probably take far too long, but you can read through it uh, yourself in the end. So I'll scroll down to say that Supreme have worked with them on a new collection for spring 2022. Trench coat, down puffer jacket, denim trucker jacket, uh, rugby, hoodie, jean, denim short, t-shirt, crusher, six panel, and a skateboard. Things you absolutely love to see, basically. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into this uh, in the end. I really don't want to like spoil things from like their pictures that they give you, but at the same time, you know, it's not a bad thing to do so. Don't know how I feel about pink, uh, but we'll get onto that, I suppose, at the end of the day. There are a lot of photos. They're going to keep going. They, the majority of the pictures are clearly these. Oh, box logo. Right, okay, okay. So we're going to kick things off uh, with the uh, leather collar trench uh, or trench coat in the end. Yeah, there isn't really a lot for me to say, uh, to be perfectly honest. I don't think I'm the biggest fan in... in more so this colorway than the tan colorway. But I do think that the black colorway is just simple uh, and clean with that. Uh, I definitely think that the tan sort of tone stands out more with the actual graphic and the embroidery. But personally for me, uh, black colorway uh, is sort of, I, I feel it's a bit higher up. I don't know. The, the pink is a no-go personally, but yeah. The next piece is going to be a Shirling uh, collar down puffer jacket. I really do like when there are collars uh, on pieces like this. I don't know why, there's just something about it that I like. I don't know how I feel about it being a puffer jacket or puffy jacket, because that seems like I'm like, I'm just messing my words up, but it seems like it could be a high retail uh, because of something like that. There's some like embroidery uh, on the chest as well. That's just the logo in small. So it's the same design uh, as oh, on the back as the other piece which I'm guessing they might stick with as a theme. Black colorway looks really nice. It's the same sort of thing. So it's the same three tones in the end of like the tan, the pink and the black. Personally, I think again, black colorway, something about it. I like it, you know, there's just, there's just something that I do like about it. Obviously, I think the tan is probably going to be like the winner because it's the classic sort of uh, color scheme, but black colorway, I do just like. Okay, so we move on to the leather track jacket. Now, I think Supreme have done like a leather type of track piece or pieces before. I'm not the biggest fan, I'll be perfectly honest. They do have their own like aesthetic to them that is nice, but at the same time, I feel like you're really going to burn up in it, like really quick. And as well, it'll probably have a high retail because, yeah. So, I'm really just judging these on how, like I typically judge Supreme, because personally, obviously, I'm not really a high fashion <laughs> type of person. Um, you probably tell. I've obviously never bought from them before, but yeah, for me, a yeah, leather track pant as well. Not my favourite piece, not my favourite piece, just plain and simple, I'll just say it. Uh, we can move straight on to the denim trucker jacket. Trucker jackets, to be honest with Supreme, like, they're, they're hit and miss. Don't know how I feel about the pink. That might probably uh, do well, yeah. I didn't think that they were going to change to just the blue denim, but I guess when it comes to denim, you do typically just have the standard blue colorway. For me personally, obviously this is the piece that they put out as their teaser and the main thing for this colorway, but I think that the blue denim probably do the best just because it's it's blue denim. And if you follow recent trends of Supreme, trucker jackets or jackets in general that are denim that either have a good design or a decent-ish retail, typically do well on the aftermarket. Now the only thing that is still coming into mind to me is just the retail of these because I know that people have said that the tees and hoodies will be supreme blanks so that's great but these pieces I'm a little bit worried about just because of the fact that it just it doesn't look like a supreme blank 
it looks like one of their blanks. So yeah, uh, in this year again, following the same design, but I just think that the blue colorway is going to be the best. So then we've got the regular jean. Yeah, I'd probably just say the blue colorway. I'm not a massive fan of this because it just gives me like a plaid look. Going on from that, obviously, we then have the denim short. We're going to hit them with the jorts. We are going to hit them with the jorts. Um, yeah, I'm not a, a massive fan of uh, jorts in the end or denim shorts. Uh, I do think that these two have their own style, which is more pleasing. You know, I'd expect them to be worn in a bit more of like a humid temperature um, when someone doesn't want to go out, you know, afternoon, evening for dinner or something in humid weather in full on jeans. So you wear these. But personally, <laughs> the blue colorway is just a no go. Uh, yeah, and they're using the same uh, design across obviously those as well. Okay. Silk short sleeve pajama set. That's just expensive, isn't it? That's it's yeah, black colorways, probably the cleanest. Don't know how I feel about those two, but black colorway just easily enough. Okay, so it's gonna be a pajama short instead of full length. Yeah. Black colorway, black colorway. See, I don't know. Personally for me, I don't know whether I feel a bit underwhelmed by everything or what, but obviously it's because they're using the design that they normally have and the design they have in general as the, the foundation for it so okay rugby top red colorway five colorways okay i'd probably say black and baby blue colorway are the cleanest uh obviously their standard colorways are okay but personally for me uh black color block and baby blue color block just look the best i still don't know how i feel about this single design being used like it's not anything crazy <laughs> that's where he changes his opinion uh obviously we now have the box logo hoodie yeah i mean if i could end up with either a t or hoodie i would do see is that a supreme blank tag it looks like it so i'd hope so it's their typical layout for supreme i'm guessing it's just a different label i hope so we've got gray black pink just three Okay, I'd, I'd probably be happiest if I could hit like a grey. That's not going to happen, but <laughs> that's when I'd be my happiest. Uh, yeah, obviously the fact that it's coming back round uh, from when they first did it, you know, is, is just cool that it's now an authentic, you know, collaboration um, for the box logo pieces. Yeah, T, yet again, black and white. White colorway is the best, isn't it, realistically? So the thing is, is when they drop so many things, you can only go for so much at the end of the day. So, yeah. Uh, personally, gray and white colorway uh, in the hoodie and T. We've got the denim six panel, multiple colorways. That looks nice in that color. Now, the standard blue looks really good as well, but I think that pink, I'm just not a massive fan of. It's just not, it's not hitting. It's really not. These two colorways are quite decent in that. Then we've got the Crusher, same sort of thing. I think black and like the tan sort of tone are best. I'm not really a fan of the pink. Oh, then we've got the Dex. We've got the Dex. Yeah, I'd, I'd take a deck if I could. So basically we've got gray hoodie, white tee, and uh, probably the tan deck, uh, realistically, uh, would be what I'd love to get from this week. Am I going to get any of it? No, but we're going to give it a good shot. So that's going to cover this collaboration in the end. As per norm, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Personally, for me, I think that the highlights as an overall, or the highlight in general, is just going to be the hoodie, the tee, and the skateboard. So yeah, that is going to cover this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, much appreciated. Other than that, good luck to everyone signing up tomorrow. I will probably sign up to the drop as well, and then do my standard of a how to cop, because why not at the end of the day? Um, and we'll just have to see how this week goes. I will definitely be using Apple Pay this week, and still going on my computer, but also using Apple Pay, and... Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you all next time. Peace.